Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. So what if I told you that there's a feature in the game right now that everyone is currently using that can absolutely save ESO, not just save ESO, but revitalize it completely. Would you be interested? Yo, welcome back guys, and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members. Thank you so much for supporting me and the channel. I honestly could not be doing this without you guys. 65% of my current viewer base is not subscribed, so please throw your boy Horcrux a bone, subscribe, and eviscerate the like button. Okay, so what feature am I even talking about, guys? So, don't click away. It's the housing feature, but there's a catch. So I'm gonna play some clips of me in the background from my stream and then elaborate on what I said kind of after that and let me know if you guys agree with me or not. I'm six years in and still dread PvP. And, and that that's the problem. If you have played this game for that long, I mean, I'm not saying you are the problem. I'm saying that the game is a problem. If you have played this game that long and you still feel uncomfortable, I still feel uncomfortable stepping into PvP at times. And if I fucking feel uncomfortable, that's not good. What I said, guys, like, they need to implement some things into the housing to where you can have an open world PvP environment in your house. Make one map that you can buy for like $30 and allow people to customize it for like a 1vx or like team based 4v4s, 5v5s, and let people go crazy with that in the housing. I think that is the, the next step for ESO have a viable estate or big ass field kind of like the cold harbor whatever have a shit ton of obstacles you can customize your own 1bx arenas and you know environments and just let people join your house and be flagged for pvp and just have a good time with everyone the big free for all i think that would be fucking amazing i and that's that's to get i mean that might kill cyrodiil right but i mean you could do a lot with that. You could host tournaments, you can practice, you can, you know, instead of hopping into Serial and getting Zerg down and frustrated, I think that would free up so many options. And then, in addition, you can, like, join other people's houses and, like, copy and paste their map, use it in your own. Like, there's so much stuff you can do with the housing, but they just don't, man. Yeah, like a guild v guild? Yeah, exactly, Vito. It would be like the Halo Forge mode. That's exactly what it would be. Great for training, like for newer players. Yeah, like like, like a full-on free-for-all or, or have it to where you can designate teams. So you have like a, your roster, whoever's logged into your house, and you can assign teams. Like, okay, this person goes to this team, this person goes to this team, yada yada, right? And you should have rules and permissions and what everyone can do and... That, I think that would be a pretty amazing. If there were a guild PvP, I would definitely come back to ESO. See, I mean, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, if you could have something like that in your housing, housing is going to be what saves this game. If they do it correctly. So, housing, you can buy the arena. You're going to make money off of it. It's going to draw everyone into it. You know, all, all the housing fanboys, like, all the PvP fanboys. That's how you make a lot of money. Yeah, more modes are like BGs. Oh, shit, like, even if, like, you could take this housing a step further. And make your own game mode to make your own capture points. Kind of like, you know, uh, Forge mode and Halo. So, I don't know what, what it would take to have that implemented. I may make a video about it sometime this week. Uh, just to kind of spitball some ideas. And kind of get that message out there. And see how the video does. And maybe we can pass this on to community managers. And maybe they can work on something for, uh, you know, next year or something like that. You couldn't have that in the game for housing. Why? Because you give players options as devs. That would make the other devs look really bad. Zoss employees. Boss, hire your fucking... Hire your player base. Like, half the shit... Like, in, in Deltia's um, Halloween event, half the shit in there look cooler than what's in the game right now. Just by them putting together, like, their own designs and stuff. Hire your player base. They play the game they're passionate about. They know what the community wants. Like, stop pulling these people right out of college. They don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry. You don't. Like, all, all, all these underpaid interns, just stop. That, that's mistake number one. Like, I even had my application be a community manager, right? But, yeah, like, give some of that power to... And, and, and the beauty of it is, so they're understaffed right now. Um, if you take a look at their career section... They have like 20 openings for engineers, so they are super understaffed right now. 
So what you would do effectively, if you put this option available in housing, you are taking the workload off of your development team so they can do something else and fix the game and lag. So let your players create content for other players. Okay, so just to summarize kind of what I said there, essentially you'd want a Forge map, kind of like in Halo or Fortnite, to where creators could make whatever map they want, whatever terrain they want, and have Zoss make it viable with crowns, like 5,000 crowns, 50 bucks, whatever it had be. So this satisfies Zoss's hunger for money, and then this also satisfies our need for creativity. So this applies to the casual PvP players, the veteran PvP players, the new PvP players, and the exact same thing for the PvE players, right? I think this would be a really good implementation and I would really love to hear from Zoss, the community managers, on what we would have to do to get this done. I think it would be a great addition to the game. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, I'm gonna try to do, spice it up, kind of do certain videos like this. I, I kind of like, you know, me clipping my stream and kind of going over what I talked about, very similar to the way Asmongold does, right? So. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, what you would add or subtract or change or call me out on some bullshit. Maybe this is all fantasy. You know, um, I would love to hear it, guys. Again, please share the crap out of this video. I really want to hear back from the devs on this one or someone from the community team just to reach out to let us know that they are listening and trying to make a difference in this game. I would love to know what limitations that they have. I would love to know what's holding them back. So. That's all guys. Thank you all for tuning into this video and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.